Happy Friday from the fabulous Florida Keys. I'm Gary McAdams with EXP Realty. This is my morning market MLS update post I do every day right about this time. I report all the new listings in Key West and the lower keys in the last 24 hours that have come on the market. If you follow this video every day, you will know about all the new listings from Big Pine Key down to Key West the same day the realtors know about them. That's very valuable information for a buyer to have and puts you ahead of most buyers. The average buyer waits for a house to come on to Zillow before they call about it. And unfortunately, by the time Zillow puts a house live online, it's been on the multiple listing service a few days and all the good listings are already under contract. If you follow this video every day, you can call me the same day. I'll get you inside and we can write an offer before most buyers even know the property is for sale. You can also get a much more detailed description of these listings if you follow my blog, keywestinvesting.com. I put a lot more details about the properties in there, photos of the inside and the outside of the property, any unique features the property might have. Just a lot more data than I can cram into a five or 10 minute YouTube video. And if I put all that information in the video, I'd be going on for 45 minutes to an hour. I mean, no, nobody wants to watch an hour long of me talking. I wouldn't watch it myself. I'll put the web address in the description below, but again, it's keywestinvesting.com. If you like this video, please let me know by clicking the thumbs up like symbol below. And if you want to see more videos of this nature or videos about life just in general in the Florida Keys, sometimes I'll just video as I go about my day, things I do, or I'll pick a different neighborhood that I really like and I'll video the neighborhood so you can see the house styles that are in there and the prices, or I'll go to a tourist attraction. and Just things you can see what it's like you know, through the eyes of a local on the Florida Keys. If you like one, want to see more videos like that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today, we have a pretty busy day. We have nine new listings to talk about. Before I mention all the information on the listings, the state of Florida requires me to tell you that the information I'm about to give you comes directly from the Florida Keys Multiple Listing Service. I'm not claiming any responsibility for any of these listings. I'm not claiming any of these listings to be my own listings and I'm not accepting any responsibility for any inaccuracies there may be in the data I'm giving you. I'm simply reading it right from the MLS. In fact, in a day like today where we have nine properties, you may see me looking down from time to time. That's just me looking at my computer screen, making sure I'm giving you the information right. The first one we have is a house on a very small lane called Cornish Lane that's off Grinnell Street in between Fleming and Southern Street, which is a very good area of Old Town. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom, 1,009 square foot house. It's being offered at $1,675,000, which is a great house for price, a great price for a house of that size in that area. The only downside is there's no parking and most of those little small lanes don't offer off street parking. So parking could be a problem for you there. Then we have a condo. It's a studio condo on Varela Street. It's 241,000 dollars, 241 square feet, I'm sorry, 241 square feet being offered at $629,000, which I think that's a lot of money for that small square footage, even though Varela Street is a great street. Then we go to a condo complex called La Brisa on South Roosevelt. La Brisa is probably my favorite condo complex in all of the Keys. It's directly across the street from Smathers Beach, which is the largest public beach in Key West. They have really nice units. They have a great pool. They have tennis courts, pickleball courts. They have like a clubhouse, neighborhood picnic barbecue area with grills. Each unit comes with one deeded covered parking spot underneath the unit. And there's plenty of guest parking, first come, first serve parking. I've been over there a ton of times showing houses. And I've never had a problem finding parking. This one's being offered at $1 million. $40,000, which is an excellent price for a unit at La Brisa. Then we go to Newtown to Flagler Ave. There's a four bedroom, three bathroom, 1,797 square foot house. It's being offered at $1,299,000, which is a good price for a house that size. The downside is Flagler Ave is a very busy traffic street. A lot of the locals use Flagler as their way to get to and from downtown when they're going to work. So there's a lot of traffic and it could be pretty noisy. That's the only real negative of Flagler. 
Then we have a condo on Northside Drive in a condo complex called Santa Clara. This is where you're going to hear me do something you probably never really hear a realtor tell you to do. Don't buy it. I sold one of these in the last couple of years, and I actually made the buyer sign a disclosure saying that I suggested that he did not buy it because the building has had a lot of structural issues. They're potentially facing a large assessment in the very near future. And I insisted he signed that he was buying it against my advice before he bought it. This one's a two bedroom, one bathroom, 631 square foot condo. It's being offered at $465,000. And after that, we go to um, Verde Street on Big Carpet. Sorry, that was an example where I had to look down to make sure that I'm getting you the right information just because we have so many listings. Verde Street on Big Carpet is a two bedroom, two bathroom, 1,140 square foot house. It's on a canal. It's being offered at $949,000, which I think is a little overpriced. Verde Street is an area that you have about 50% houses, 50% trailers that were put in there in you know, the 1950s and the 1960s. So you might have your beautiful canal front house and you're located next door to a trailer that no one's lived in for 30 years and it's overgrown and uninhabitable. Then we go to Bay Drive on Saddle Bunch Key. It's a very big house. It's a five bedroom, five bathroom, 3,272 square foot house, which is huge for the Keys. It's on a very large lot for the Keys. It's right on the open water. But in my opinion, it's at least a million, if not a million and a half dollars overpriced. It's offered at $4,250,000. And Saddle Bunch Key, it is waterfront, but the boating is terrible. You'd be lucky to get a John boat in there at best. Then we go to Shore Drive on Saddle Bunch Key also. We have a three bedroom, three bathroom house there. It's 1,589 square feet. It's being offered at $1,829,000, which again falls into that very overpriced category. It should be about $829, not $1,829,000. This section of Saddle Bunch Key is kind of like Verde on Big Carpet. It was originally all mobile homes, and now it's probably 50 or 60% houses. Every time we have a storm, the mobile homes get torn out and the house gets put up. But you could have your million dollar house, you know, then a, you know, 50 year old trailer on either side of you or across the street from you. So definitely I would stay away from this one unless you're planning on owning it for 20 or 30 years, then all the trailers will be gone and it might be a good buy, but you can get so much better for $1,829,000. Then the last one we have today is in a subdivision called Tropical Bay in Big Pine Key, which is a really nice subdivision. This one's on Hawk Lane. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom, 1,852 square foot house on a canal with great deep water boating. It's being offered at $2,695,000, which is a very fair price for a house of that nature in Tropical Bay. And that's all we have for today. If you want to see any of these homes or any home anywhere in the Florida Keys, please give me a call at 305-731-0501. And now for my promise, I always make to give $1,000 of my commission to go towards your closing costs and make everyone wait to the end of the video for the good stuff. If you buy or sell any house with me anywhere in the Florida Keys between now and June 30th, I will contribute $1,000 of my commission to go right towards your closing costs. All you have to do is buy before June 30th, and the second requirement you can do in less than two seconds right now, and it's really simple. You just have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you meet those two criteria, I will donate $1,000 right out of my commission to go towards your closing costs. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to showing you some homes in the beautiful Florida Keys. And I look forward to making you my neighbor. I really love living here and I know you will too. I'm Gary McAdams with eXp Realty.